Hello, and welcome to episode one of Let's Play MLB 15, the show. My name is Jesse Simmons. Joining me, as always, my MLB counterpart, Jeremy Matthews. That's right, buddy. And it's an exciting day today because uh, we purchased MLB 15, the show. We did. I'm so excited. And uh, we're going to do a little fantasy draft here. You guys have been asking for this. And so uh, Jesse's going to be the Boston Red Sox. Boo. No. And I'm going to be the amazing New York Yankees. Uh, definitely boo. Definitely more boo. Um, that just sounded like you were booing the Red Sox. No, I meant I was booing you. Okay, so fantasy draft on. Okay, so in the past we've picked some teams that uh, were not that good. So this year, we're Jeremy's going to do better. Teams. Great teams. My team will be the same. I'm going to make sure that Andy Chavez is on my team somewhere. Is that all we want? Yeah, it looks good. So I haven't played any of this game at all. Jesse, you've played a little bit. It makes, uh, well, it's installing. You play as the Giants. Yes. How would you find it? Uh, it was all right. Didn't seem much different. But, oh, my God. Ha -ha! The first pick in the draft. Yes. Oh, this is garbage already. Amazing. Oh, this is garbage already. Hmm, who should I pick? Uh, Felix, 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 Felix. I can't believe I got Mike Trout. I've been dreaming about this day, but someday I would get first pick in a fantasy draft. Felix. It's done. Mike Trout. Oh, good. You have to hit advance in between picks. Okay, so Kershaw, Cabrera. Oh, no, not too low. I really wanted too low. Is that? Why would you want too low? Because I like too low. It's key. You get so annoyed when your players get injured. Well, there's still a lot of good players left. You got six. That's pretty good. Should I get the gold glove winner? I would prefer that you didn't. I'm strongly considering it. He's a pretty good player, though. He is. He's very good. I don't know. If I was wanting to build a franchise, McCutcheon would be a great player to have. Maybe Stanton. I like McCutcheon. I know I like Buster Posey. I don't like Buster Posey. Buster Posey was making me very upset earlier. And I'm, I definitely wouldn't pick Robinson Cano because he's old. Er. I don't know if I buy into that. Oh, God, this is a hard choice. These are not the players I was hoping would be available you at this pick, time. You could pick I did make a joke earlier about me taking Max Scherzer. You could pick Craig Kimbrell if you want a really good bullpen. You said you wanted the best bullpen. Yeah, because I year. suck at bullpens. Oh, so take he's him. very... No, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to go Paul Goldschmidt. All right. Interesting pick. I probably would have gone McCutcheon, but hey. Whatever floats your boat. Tanaka's gone. Sean Doolittle. A lot of closers going. That's cool. They're starting to uh, choose closers earlier now. And Dylan Batances is gone. Oh, David Ortiz. No, I can't. No. <laughs> Not bad idea. Anyway, it's your pick. Um. <laughs> so we're in the AL again this year, so you could pick David Ortiz. I don't want David Ortiz. Going to go for a rotation guy? Um, I was actually looking at Cespedes. Cespedes? That's an interesting pick. I mean, he's not bad. He's a good player, yeah. He is. He's a very good player. Going back um, to the Red Sox, he, he'd probably be excited about that. Probably not. I'm going to go David Wright. Uh, I like David Wright. I've been watching David Wright for a long time. I okay. don't want to take Jason Worth, and Cespedes doesn't... Not sure. Third base is a thinner position. Not a bad idea. It wasn't a great idea, but... That's fine. Oh, okay. Cespedes to the Mariners, Jeremy. How do you feel? Oh, that's well. He's not on my team, so that's good. Who do I want? Oh, Anthony Rendon, really a player I like a lot. You should take Rendon then. I might actually, and he's young, which is good. Oh, but Victor Martinez, it's pretty good. <laughs> See, I want you to continue scrolling because all of the old people will be farther down, and I want mm. you to find them and pick them. I do like Iwakuma a lot. Cliff Lee. I don't want Cliff Lee. <sighs> sad, sad news about Cliff Lee though, not being able to pitch anymore. I thought that happened in 2008. Whoa! That's not very nice, but okay. Uh, you guys couldn't see, but I was putting fake glasses on myself like a cartoon character. All right, so... Oh, Billy Hamilton. Could get some speed. No, I think what I'm going to go for is I'm going to pick Anthony Rendon, because I do like him a lot. And he gives me some good contact. Because I know later on in the draft I'm going to want to get power guys. So it's I need to pick. counteract that now. Okay, so that's round two. Both yeah, made would. some interesting picks. Two third basemen. And now I have another pick. Everyone who complained about third basemen. Yeah, that's true. We had some pretty shoddy third basemen. All right, I, I definitely need a pitcher now. 
I don't know how I feel about Homer Bailey re- leading a rotation. That's my only issue. Doug Fister. Um, Doug Fister would be pretty good. I'm th- I am thinking about James Shields though, because I think uh, you know there's a reason the Padres got him. It's the same reason I'd be getting him. Because he's good. Sonny Gray. Sonny Gray's good. Lance Lynn. Wow, oh, Jed. Oh, Jeremy. Look who's below. Hey, Ray Dickey. Oh, I hate Ray Dickey. Maybe later. I know it's going to happen later. I'm going to go for James Shields. It's a good pick. A guy who definitely could have gone to the actual Yankees this year. I am going to take Andrew Kashner. Okay, that's a good pick. That's my first pitcher. A guy whose uh, stock's improved a lot. I like I like, I like, like how he plays. Mm-hmm. Freddie Freeman is gone. Anthony Rizzo! I heard he had a first baseman. Okay, so what are you looking for next? Are you going to start working on your best bullpen ever? No, not yet. Okay, I'm going to do something that you, j- are j- that you joked about earlier, and I'm going to take Billy Hamilton. Okay, going for an 81. It's fine. He's got 90. Interesting. Speed. Okay. Got 90. Ben Revere's also there. Okay. You've made your point. I am going to try to select <laughs> someone else. Hmm. Chase Utley. Chase Utley's an 85. Yeah. Maybe I should get another pitcher. Could uh, stop me from getting R.A. Dickey by getting R.A. Dickey. Ha ha ha! You're funny. No, I thought you might go for it. Why? Why would you? Why would you think that? I don't know. Jay Bruce, you like Jay Bruce? I can't play as Jay Bruce. I was talking about it before we even started this video. How much I don't want to take. Jesse Jay has Bruce. taken him last two years in a row. All right. So well, what's your move here? Oh, this is <sighs> going for a middle infielder. I'm thinking about it. I kind of want to branch out into the outfield because I have two two infielders. Okay. Right yeah. Now. Maybe get someone to, or Nelson Cruz. I was looking at with the bat. Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper. That's not a bad move. But I don't really want. Definitely not. Uh, you know, nobody's as hot on him as last year, but could be a good bounce back candidate. Brings a good dynamic energy to your team, which we will probably need. I can't believe I'm about to do this. What are you doing? I'm gonna take Jonathan Papelbon. Why? Because I want a good closer. Why are you taking Jonathan Papelbon? <laughs> Because I like Jonathan Pavlov. I can't decide. This is so difficult. This is why. I... All right, yeah, you're building the best bullpen in baseball, and obviously that needs Jonathan Pavlov, so go for it. You know, there are really good players left. The fact that you're debating between Billy Hamilton and Jonathan Pavlov. I'm going with Neil Walker. Okay, all right. What do you want to bet the next one's Pavlov? Nope. Oh, James Paxton's gone. If you take Papelbon, I'm going to fight you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Papelbon. Take Chase Utley. Um, Andrew Miller would be good if you want, actually wanted a good bullpen. Uh-huh. But I don't really care. That right, much. I want to start my bullpen with a reliever, with a setup guy. Yeah, bullpens generally, it's good if you have relievers. Uh-huh, good one. David Got Ortiz's it. fielding isn't that bad. <laughs> uh, I want... Oh, I don't want him in a bat. Yankees uniform. He's good with the bat. Oh, I can't wait. This is the end of this is going to be your nightmare. Okay, I'm going to select Nelson Cruz because he's got so much power and he's, you know he's a good he's a good cleanup guy. For uh, he's a mariner as well. I, I don't even register him as a mariner yet. I coughed. You might not have heard me. I said he's a mariner as well. Oh, actually, George, I like George Springer a lot. Maybe I'll wait. Take Josh Hamilton. Um, I'm gonna take. Salvador Perez, because he's a player I really like. And he's got strong defense and a decent bet. And I get another pick. You do. Where I can pick... Nelson Cruz. David Ortiz. I'm thinking about David Ortiz, i got to admit. Pick him. Pick David Ortiz! No, he's too old. Oh. You're subconscious calling out to you to pick David Ortiz. I'm going to pick Taiwan Walker, because he's a Mariner. I'm hoping that you wouldn't see him. <laughs> And he's very good. Oh, Phil Hughes good. His uh, spring training campaign has been excellent. He's given up one run in like 20-something innings. You want Patrick Corbin again? I don't think La- I... Last season he was your ace. Last season he also gave up... Oh, wow, okay. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Who am I going to take now? Who is high and available? So I just saw Suzuki and thought it was Ichiro, and then I realized that Kurt Suzuki is probably rated higher than Ichiro in this game, and that's very depressing. To me. I feel I feel bad for you, Jeremy. So yeah, your outfield, you should start putting people in it. That's my advice. He's so fast. Yeah, but oh, he's got good contact, though. 
Oh, you're gonna pick Ben Revere. He's really not that good. I don't want. I don't want Kudzi. I'm gonna take Jason Worth. Okay. Get some veteran presence. Because his beard is on Twitter yeah. and it's very funny. Yeah. You can tell stories about jail. And I'm no longer afraid to take older players. Okay, good, because now I am. We've swapped. Oh, Billy Hamilton just went. Billy Hamilton just went. Yeah. I saw that. Mookie Betts, though. Okay, the center fielder situation is not looking that great. Dire. Good thing I got Mike Trout. I'm going to take Carl Crawford. Um, why? Because his valiant... I don't know. Stop like, questioning everything. You're, you're, it's making me question myself, you're, Jeremy. You're just stuck, stocking up on speed? Is that your plan? No. Because I should get a good catcher if that's your plan. You did. I did. Yes. Um, what does catcher throw, right? Yeah. Smiley. Quintana. Shelby Miller. Are you really that focused on handedness at this point well i mean i don't want to get someone too old here as there are many people <laughs> there are many options if you want to go that way and i might as well get like a good lefty okay, pitcher go as well. for it, i'm gonna get drew smiley All right. jay bruce is gone yes the streak is over i'm oh, sorry now i can calm down and relax oh david ortiz is still on the board just take david ortiz i know you're going to also it dh yeah, I know. That's what I would do. Okay, I mean, I am going to select David Ortiz as my DH. Oh, this is going to make me super uncomfortable when he's on the... And then, as my first baseman, I will select... I think it's going to be Albert Pujols. Yes. Oh, wow. If this was 2005, I would be scared out of my mind. Okay, those are my old players. I'm done. I'm done. No, you're not. Don't lie to anyone. Oh, I was going to get Nelson Cruz. No, I wasn't. I already got a DH. Um, I'm going to get... Casey McGee? No. He was good last year. I guess I need a DH. You do. Chris Carter. You could strike out a bunch. I should, I should do it for a, a, a player as a really, who's really bad at Mike fielding. Mike Kadire? Oh, um... Or do you want to get a catcher? I mean, these catchers really suck. Well, yeah, you waited too long. Is there another good pitcher? No, it's still all the 80s. Okay. Um, oh, how's your best bullpen ever going? It's going good. <laughs> you know why? Great. K-Rod. All right, that's exciting. What up? I'm taking as many old players as you, and that's frightening me. Uh, I think you've taken more. No. Oh, Rusny Castillo. Oh, I've made a mistake waiting this long for center fielders. Oh, I've made a mistake waiting this long for left fielders. Jesse did pr predict before the video that you would take Scott Van Slyke. I did. Who is a good player. I He's not bad. I didn't say he was bad. He would add to your team. Uh, Ichiro does have a higher rating than Kurt Suzuki. I can confirm. Really? Yeah. He's 79. Oh, he's right there. Yeah. I was just, I looked at Tory Hunter and down. You looked and saw Mariner, or Marlin's uniform. You were like, no. Can't be Ichiro. Oh, I need a center fielder. Pick Castillo. He's an exciting rookie. Should I go with the guy that was 54 overall? Oh, okay, picking Eric Young Jr. is not that good of a plan. Um, I'm going to go Will Myers is pretty go good. Leonis Martin. You're not going to pick Will Myers? No, because I like Leonis Martin. Okay, go lot. for it. A lot of speed on your team. I'm kind of worried. Maybe I can pick Joe Bime. We'll get someone with a great pickoff move. Oh no, I'm so scared of Joe Bimel. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to. <laughs> Just go, uh, okay. go, go Bimel hunting. So I need uh, middle infielders and corner outfielders. Hmm. You know what? I, I think I'm going to take Scott Van Slyke. I don't know if now's the time. But... I mean, if you take Scott Van Slyke, I'm literally out of left fielders. I like Cole Calhoun, though. Why? Well, look at his stats. He's not bad. Puts up great contact, has great field. Also, you're going to take each row. No, I'm not. Oh, uh-huh. I'm definitely not. Uh-huh. Did you see his season last year? He was not good. He, uh -huh, he's, Jeremy. He's the greatest player who's ever played, obviously, but, you know, I, not anymore. I'm going to pick Cole Calhoun. And then, I like having this this two pick in a row thing. Yes. It's and having the first pick. It's really great. Super annoying. Okay, Rodney's still on the board. I do want to pick Rodney. 
But oh, heavier bias. Oh, they don't have his power very high. I feel like he has more power than that. Should get Mark Ellis. No. Yes. Keep the legacy alive. Oh, Jerickson. Okay, the second baseman situation is pretty poor. I'm glad I got Neil Walker. Okay, Baez I think is a good option. I'm gonna take him. It's Actually, a... maybe I should take Scott Vance. Like, oh, that looks so gross after. That looks so gross after you pick Vance. Like, hmm, I don't like his fielding. Uh, I saw you go up to Marlon Bird. And yeah, I was like, Marlon Bird. Please, Bird. please take Marlon Bird. I'm gonna take uh, Happier Baez. Hopefully, I can limit the strikeouts. You'll be pitching, so probably. Hey, you could take CC Sabathia. He's uh, put on the weight again. I really want to take CC Sabathia. Just leave Brett Olberholzer for me. I don't think that that's going to be much of an issue. An issue. You could pick Jesse Hahn. He has your name. Oh, Sabathia's a 79 as well. And he's a lefty. I'm going CC. And he's only slightly over 300 pounds. It's fine. I don't care. He was he was not very good when he was skinny though, so maybe that's for the best. Oh, it's the reliever round. Tom Wilhelmson went. I really wish I had seen that. Okay, I'm going to pick a reliever then. Uh, oh, Jonathan Broxton's still available. You, as you said it, like, I know you said it sarcastically, but I was also like, ooh. I actually didn't. I don't know I still what rate him. Broxton's season was like last year. I wasn't. It was not really that good. I was not following the Jonathan Broxton front. Well, you could just check. I assume this has 2014 stats. Where is he? Yeah, that's not a bad season. Done. Okay, I'm going to take a closer, I think. Rodney. Er, he'll probably sit there for a while. <laughs> I should get a shortstop. Oh, I should definitely get a shortstop. I know what position I'm going for next round. Okay, yeah, the left fielders are still there. I'm going to take a shortstop. A-Rod can play shortstop. Can he actually? I don't think so. Ha! <laughs> uh, no. Can Rendon? It says he can play third base, though, which is nice. <laughs> okay, Jonathan VR. That's good. That gives me a number two or number nine option. <laughs> yeah, Bogarts isn't quite Brad good Miller! Didi Gregorius is the next Derek Jeter. According to Arizona, but I'm pick. not going to take him. Good. That Brad Miller. No. I said Brad Miller. Let's do Jonathan VR. And then. Scott Vance like. And then I have my lineup. That's good. Now I can focus on the pitching staff. Uh oh. <laughs> Which I, f I haven't focused enough on the pitching staff, I feel, so far. Uh oh! Mmm. What else do you need? Oh, good. Kristen Orphia. Delman Young. Michael Saunders. Okay, I'm going to focus on getting someone here, I guess. Oh, there's Arisbel or Wea You could have fun saying that. That did, not, that did not sound like you even said it correctly. Well, you give it a go. No, I'm okay. I thought I said it correctly. I'm going to go Dee Dee. Okay. Dee Dee! That was a Dexter's Laboratory reference. Battle of the Young Shortstops here. Between us. Between? Betwixt. Between. Betwixt. Have you not heard the word between before? I have. Have you heard the word betwixt before? Yes. Whoops. Hey, AJ Pierzynski. Don't I made, take him, please. I made a second error, Jeremy. Jason Castro. I feel like Jason Castro is underrated. Always. Mike Zanino has issues. <laughs> Really good spring training so far, though. I'm going Jason Castro. Okay. Which brings each of our Houston Astros players up to one. Yes. Okay. So you don't have to feel bad. I've selected R.A. Dickey. Oh. Jesse, in case you haven't watched us before, Jesse struggles against the knuckleball? I don't struggle that much. Uh, we'll find out. <laughs> and, oh, Rodney's gone. So. Koji Uhara. Latroy, Latroy, Latroy. Uihara has been struggling. Latroy. I like Raphael Sorgon. Latroy. Don't want Latroy. Latroy. Don't want Latroy. Juan Oviedo. No. Oh, do you want Kenny Isaac? Don't think that's a real player. I know it's not. All right, I'll take Uihara. 
done. Jock Peterson. How is Jock Peterson still left? He must be rated pretty low. The center fielders got really dark. I guess I wasn't looking at the center fielders because I have a pretty decent one. Are you? Do you want to take Michael Saunders? He's hurt. I don't think of the game. I know. Else that would be super unfair <laughs> and I would be unaware of that. Oh, it's the pitcher round. Great, I'm going to pick a pitcher then. John Lackey is available. Stop making me pick lefties. I'm going to pick Jake Peavy. Go for it. You like Jake Peavy. I do like Jake Peavy. Yes, 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 yes. I didn't see what happened. Marcus Stroman. Oh. He's pretty good. I That was not who I was thinking. Out of all the players on that list, Marcus Stroman was the one I'm that really I was... really happy with that. I was like, oh, he's going to pick Stroman because it's the only 20 guy, 20-year-old guy on the page. Uh, Stroman out for the season in real baseball, but I will carry on his legacy. Out of everyone on that list, Stroman was the last person I assumed that you wanted. Really? Tyler Matzek? He wasn't on the list at the time. Yeah, he was. No, because I picked PV and you had Stroman, so he would have been just off of it. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Unless I'm wrong. Mmm, Oliver Perez? Yeah, I like him. Let's go with David Hernandez. Good, solid, right-handed reliever. So we're going to go 25 rounds, just like a real 25-man roster. And then the... Uh... Sure. I don't want Dan here. No, you know in California he's going to retire. <laughs> yeah, and then the computer will uh, pick players for us that are better than the players we picked. Yes. It'll happen. You're uh, going to pick J.P. Howell? Actually, I was looking at Eric O'Flaherty as well. Oh, good lefty. I'm going to take Eric O'Flaherty. He's got a good break on his pitches. I saw 97. I like him. Yeah. Matt's X gone. Oh, I guess this is me again. CJ Wilson, 15th round. He's really fallen. Okay, I'm just making sure I did that right. Um, oh, good. Oh, good. Oh. You know, you got to take what you can get with a fifth fifth pitcher. Oh, you want Jesse Crane? Uh, earlier today when we were discussing doing this, I made a joke that in my best bullpen ever, I wanted Jesse Crane. I'm going to take Jesse Crane. Come on, and come I've on, picked yes. It. I know, Randy Cho was there. I'm not going to take Jesse Randy Jesse also struggles against uh, sidearm pitchers. Okay. And Randy Cho is my favorite. Let's put it as Jesse struggles, period. Look at his potential. A. What? <laughs> He's 39. <laughs> oh. He had that potential. I think that's what they're trying to say. He did not live up to it, but it was there at one point. Okay, I want... Are there any good young starters? Oh, Martin Perez. He's pretty good. Vance Worley. Take Vance Worley. Take Vance Worley. No, I J.A. Happ, he's it. a... I didn't realize Randy Wolf was still around. Did anyone? Did anyone realize that Eric Bedard was still around? I knew that Eric Bedard was still around. He's in Tampa. Oh, okay. Unless he got cut. I don't know. I haven't checked in the last couple days. <laughs> you haven't been up to date on your Tampa Bay? I'm going to check. Take Martin Perez. Take my last starter. All right, there's some great options. No, there are not. Chad Billingsley? Wasn't he like my third pitcher last year? Or did sure. I have Shasin? You did have Shasin. Jay Happ? Oh my god, this sucks so much. You're going kind of too far down. Okay, I'm just going to pick. Why don't you just pick Dan Heron? I don't want Dan Heron. You're done with it. Your rotation's pretty young. You could take an old guy. Is that sarcasm? No. I don't want... I don't like Dan Heron, though, no, at I all. I mean Bartolo Colon. Stop trying to sell me bad players Bartolo as, like, you're, like, you're, like... Opening day starter for the Mets. That is so sad. The Mets... <laughs> and they're gonna be good this year. Get your stuff together. Maybe. Okay, now I'm way too far down again. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go Brandon Compton, then. Okay. Not a totally solid fifth... Fifth pitcher. I was going to wait for Elias mm. at the Mariners, but I thought it would be better to just take a play. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd take Compton for sure. Well, I have a lineup that I don't like. <laughs> oh, I have to take a... You need a DH, don't you? Yes. Nick Swisher's available. I went over to Nick Swisher. I was like, don't say a word. Ryan Howard? Ryan Howard wouldn't be a bad DH. Michael Saunders is so bad. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> quite sure why you picked him. He's kind of gone downhill. 
Who did you say? Oh, Ryan Howard. Right a Rod right. would be a good DH. I'm, you will find me dead in a ditch before I take Alex Rodriguez. Okay, fine. I accidentally take dead <laughs> Alex Rodriguez. No. Take Bird and Mick Saunders. Your DH. Oh, Sam Fold is really good at fielding. Uh, Joyce maybe. Um, I'm just looking through it right now. Who's good at fielding? You don't want someone who's good at fielding. I do want someone that's good at fielding, because then the other person can... Oh, okay, you're going to have Jason Worth the H? Yeah. That seems pretty reasonable if I can take Grady freaking Sizemore. Wow, that is one of the worst plans I've ever heard. <laughs> I could even get through with a straight face. All right, I'm going to take Ryan Howard to DH. Maybe Mark Reynolds is better. Nope. Nope. What All is, right, what Ryan Howard. Me? Uh... Good pick. Oh. Um, oh. Joe Nathan's still available. He'd be a good setup guy. Have you picked your closer yet? Yep. We are. That's right. Hey, Matt Thornton. Forgot nice. that he was 38 I've again. I've got a lefty already, though. Could use a second one, but not right now. Also, for anyone interested, that Diamondbacks pitcher that I was thinking of a few episodes ago was Craig Breslow. There you go. So, thank you for to the back. one person that suggested J.J. Putz. Chris Young. But I don't forget a face like J.J. Putz. Don't draft Chris Young. I could use a long reliever. I could use a crappy player on my team. Hey, that's not very nice. He had a good year last year. Mm-hmm. For the Mariners. Didn't he not? Didn't you tell me that he didn't? He did. He had a very oh, good year. Exciting. Do you have your... Hmm. Huh. Remember earlier, Jeremy? I said I wasn't going to take Ichiro then. No, you didn't. That's a lie. Take BJ Upton. I don't want Melvin Upton. <laughs> I also don't know what you're talking about, who you're talking about. As I said, BJ Upton, I was like, he's going to pretend like he has no idea who I'm talking about. Willie Bloomquist is a good utility player. Willie Bloomquist is a good utility player. Um, A Rod would. I'm sure I'm whispering a lot on this video. Not be that useful. Take a rod, I miss Marco Scudero. Take Cliff Pennington. Don't do it. I hate you. Nick Swisher back on the Yankees. That's when you. he was good. And I am going to take Joe Nathan. No, my bullpen's going to be so old again. <laughs> like every year. Take Franc oh, Tyler Thornberg. Franc All right, Francis Lee. I'm taking Tyler Thornberg as my long long reliever. Oh, Chris Young's gone, but it's the center fielder, so I don't care. Glad I picked two players that can only play first base. Oh, I'm glad, too. Oh, I made many mistakes in my time, Jeremy. Actually, I don't think your team's that bad. Um, I want someone that can play a lot of positions. Willie Bloomquist yeah. is that guy. I know. I, I, as soon as I said it, I was like, uh-oh. I have to take Willie Bloomquist now. You take a backup catcher. I want a catcher that can also play first. Why? You already have two people who can play first. What if one of them gets tired? Then play the other one. That doesn't make any sense to me. Great. Like, you're spitting nonsense, Jeremy. I appreciate you trying to help. You take Giordani. Why can't he play shortstop? He's busy playing the outfield. <laughs> He's busy. <laughs> really? This is your idea. <laughs> I'm just looking. How about you get off my back for a second? Why don't you pick someone? Because I'm thinking about who I'm going to pick. These are important people. I have to. Yeah, you might as well. Oh, he's so old. I don't want it. You know, you think there are a lot of options, but really, there are not. I know. Kelly Johnson? I'm not. T no, that is not. It's not going to happen. Valdespin? You like Valdespin? But you could, I want someone that can play short as well. Why don't you just take a different guy to play short? Take a shortstop. Take a Rhea Borena. Still can't say his name, so no. Uh, Brendan Ryan has good defense. Uh, you could have Didi Gregorius be your DH. That's I'm not... I have a <laughs> DH, Jeremy. I know, I know, I know. I like my team. I'm not going to lie. I'm going Marwin good. Gonzalez. Okay. So he plays a lot of positions, and he's not too old, okay. and he's a switch hitter. And he's on the Astros. It's fine. JP Aaron CBA is gone. No, said the one person. Why is he still so good in this game? I don't understand. I don't know. 
There are a lot of older relievers now. Oh, Matt Belial looks so sad in this photo. He wants you to pick him. Uh, I need a long reliever. Chris Young. Because everyone on my team has exactly 24 stamina. They're very consistent. Consistently. Heath Bell has, re has retired. We'll miss him. Craig Breslow you could take. That doesn't really look like Joe Bimel <laughs> at all. <laughs> Though, if I had a list of priorities for making this game, Joe Bimel likeness not high on the list. Maybe I'll take a, a starter as well. Ooh. Like uh, Trevor Cahill? Sure. Ronis Elias? He's probably a decent long reliever. I'm going to take Trevor Cahill because I like Trevor Cahill. All right. Interesting pick. He is in the bullpen, I think. Yep. Yeah, because he was so bad. <laughs> good, still a good pick, though, I guess. How's my bench looking? It's got Swisher on it. Oh, good. It's got three first basemen. <laughs> huh? Huh? You like what you see? Okay. Uh, Just, can you pick first baseman as all of your bench players? I'm going to select Willie Bloom. No. <laughs> Middlebrooks. He only plays one position. Middleton. Anthony Ghost. Sam Fold. I'm going to take Willie Bloomquist. I'm just going to yell players at you. Until great, pick great, great utility player. Pick Ichiro now. That's a good idea. He is my favorite. I can't hit as him, though. It's like your Jay Bruce thing. <laughs> um, James Jones. I feel like he's speedier than that in real life. I'm going to take Sam Fold. Because he can go in as a defensive replacement. Because Vance likes fielding's pretty bad. Does he play? Yeah. When I told you to take Ichiro, it's because I wanted Sam Fold. Does that, well, you can take Ichiro. And now RC is gone. This position blows. Dustin Ackley sucks. What? Dustin Ackley? That's low for Dustin Ackley. Oh, Ricky Weeks. <laughs> and so goes the Mariners' <laughs> left field platoon. They're in the high 60s. <laughs> Not good. Did I pick all right-handed hitters? It's good to know. Wait. Pick a left-handed hitter. Switch. I was looking at the wrong one. Oh, lefty, yeah. lefty, lefty. You picked a lot of lefties. You like Andy Chavez a lot. I love Andy Chavez, but, but I also Hunter's don't available. want my two right fielders to be over 34. <laughs> Could take Justin Maxwell. Why? I don't know. He's got good power. Andy Chavez does not have good power, so that is an advantage. That was the, that was why I said that. I also like Nate McLeod a lot. Wow, you got a lot of options then in the in the depths of outfielders. The the, the depths. I'm gonna take Nate McLeod. Okay. You like that McLeod Saunders platoon? Why are you platooning then? Because Saunders is a 72 and McLeod is a 71. Do they hit opposite? I believe so. Nope. Great. That's kind of why I was asking. <laughs> Probably should have looked at that more. Okay, so I have... Uh, Yonder Alonso is available. Nope! <laughs> you said he plays the outfield. I was lying to you. Were you trying to get me to pick him? Because I wasn't going to pick him. I was... Corey Hart? He used to be able to play the outfield. What are you looking for now? Um, oh, I guess I should take a backup catcher more than yeah. anything else. Q. Q is available. Is that Humberto Quintero's nickname? Yep. That's a bad nickname. Have people told him that? I'm going to take Brian Pena. Why? Because he can play first base. Oh, that's so dumb. I want... Look at, look at fielding. Try and get a good fielding catcher, because Castro's not. Teagarden? Jose Molina? He's great with pitchers. Where's Tuffy Gosowich? There. <laughs> he looks pretty I'm annoyed. just going to move away from this screen. Oh, I should... I'll just do this then. I don't know what I want, Jeremy. Oh, Brandon Maurer is still available. Maurer? Maurer. Oh, okay, I said it wrong. Lefty. Righty. Martin Maldonado. Exciting. Not really. Yeah, no, it's not. Okay, good. You didn't pick Maurer. 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 Yeah, if you have an opinion on this debate of facts, <laughs> let us know. It is Maurer, I it's think. Maurer. 
I don't actually know. You have four starters. So it's 23rd round. We have three more picks. Nope. What are you, what are you talking about? It looked like you had four starters for a second. I do not. Might have been a good strategy, though. <laughs> How many guys do I have in my bullpen? I have five. Okay, I'm going to go seven-man bullpen. Jamie Wright could be good. I feel like like Joe Nathan's an 84, though. Just should, take Joe Nathan, then. Yeah, I should take him. Or Brett Cecil? Don't do that. I like Brett Cecil. Oh, Brett Cecil's a lefty. Okay, good. I'm going to take wow, Brett I can't Cecil. That, that just happened. Okay. What's wrong with Brett Cecil? So I need a, one more bench player. Uh, just go for it. Oh, right, because I picked Cahill. Yeah. That scared me for a second. I was like, uh-oh. I made a mistake. Well, you did. You picked oh, Cahill. Did I did not see Steve Lombard. Does he go? That's a shame. You think Sports Center would have let you know? I do. Oh, he's so fast. There's Mend Mendy uh, Alcantara. Which is how you say that, apparently. Alcantara? No, that's apparently that's wrong. That's what I said. Oh, it's Ruben Tejada, the starting, starting uh, shortstop. For the Mets? Yeah. Oh, that really sucks. I'm going to take Alexei Amarista. Go for it. I don't think he's that bad. He looks pretty bad now that I'm actually looking at his statistics. <laughs> well, I guess everyone I'm going to yeah. get here isn't going to be very good. And he plays a why bunch you, of positions. Why are you taking someone like this? Because he can play second and third. Don't you already have someone to do that? Yes, I have Marwin, but yeah. what if Marwin has to play one? Okay, I see. So your team's going to be really bad is what you're saying. Well, you're gonna have who else should I pick? And Gonzalez is playing. Mark Ellis? You take Mark Ellis. I like Mark Ellis. You like Nick Punto. I don't want... What? <laughs> Who who's selling you this fake information that I like Nick Punto? Oh, a Rod's still available. Mike Olt. Steve Olt. Mike Olt. I'm surprised that he's still there. If I'm honest. Like Amarisa can play so many positions, and I don't think he's that bad. Go for it. I don't want to. I'm not judging you. Yes, you are. I'm going to take Nick Ahmed. Now I'm judging you. Why? He's got good speed, good fielding. Great. Stop doing this. You're making me feel Pick so... Someone. You're making me feel so subconscious. So you should be confident in your decisions. Not Brian, that one. Brian Wilson is gone. I actually thought of the Beach Boys person before the pitcher because I haven't heard about the pitcher in such a long time. Ichiro has gone. I have to take... I did not take Ichiro. I'm very, very proud of myself. Oh, I wish I had known that he was going to come up. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't. My bullpen is so old. You're not going to take Papa Grande? Is that... That's Valverde. That's Valverde's nickname? Yeah. Or it was back when t people talked about him. Take him. Then we'll both have bullpen pitchers with glasses. Who's yours, Brett Cecil? Yeah. I'm going to take Rafael Soriano. Not a bad pick. Don't know why you didn't take Joe Nathan, but... Because I like Rafael Soriano more. Oh, Ricky Weeks is gone. What a shame. Two more picks? Yes. I have to find one more. Um, I want Despain. I already have a long reliever, though. Maybe I should have two long relievers. <laughs> Just in case. Rich Hill. Why would I want Rich Hill? <laughs> I don't know. I like Rich Hill a little bit. Well, I like Javi Guerra. Take Javi Guerra. Former closer? Yep. That's the only reason why I like him. I get Javi Guerra confused with walking Soraya. I actually have a pretty young bullpen. Yeah. I should take someone old. Vogel song. Vogel song. How's my lefty situation doing? Is that why you're looking at Vogel song? It's I, not oh, I already have two lefties. You have one lefty. No, I have Cecil. Oh, Dang. He only bats right. I also have to check mine, because I'm scared I've got all righties. Um, oh, no, I picked it. Oh, Flaherty. All right, I'll take Matt Thornton. And for my final pick, I will take a backup catcher. Pierce nc has gone. What a shame. I will select. Laird. No, I don't want Laird. 
Look at that contact. He's though. a backup to Tuffy Ghost Switch. Look at that contact. I'm going to take David Ross. He's a veteran. Hold on, i got to make my last pick. Go for it, buddy. Alrighty. Nope. Okay, you got one lefty. Maybe take one more. Joe Bimel's a lefty. I don't want Joe Bimel. I'm strongly considering it. I saw you shake your head a little bit. I don't know why you'd want a long, long reliever. Well, I mean, he can pitch more than one yeah, inning. You have Cahill. Yeah, but he like it's just he's just basically a reliever that has more stamina. But that also means he's worse for the overall. Uh, he doesn't look like he's worse. He's not really that good. Like, look at Rich Hill's K for 9. I'm picking Rich Hill. See up lefty? Nice. Oh, dang! So that'll conclude our uh, fantasy draft. On a really sad note. But I feel pretty good about our draft. Uh, you guys let us know how we did. But uh, I feel pretty happy with my team. Jesse? Eh. Jesse's pretty excited too. <laughs> uh, next, in a few days, we will have uh, episode two, where we'll take a look at uh, what, what other players we ended up with, and we will make our lineups and rotations and stuff. So join us then. See you guys.